channel. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Lissy. Today, guys, is the last and final day you guys can get your hands on one of these super rare limited edition angel plushies at LissyNoelShop.com, guys. It is the final day. After today, these plushies will be gone forever. You guys definitely do not want to miss out on this. It's going to be one of the cutest plushies I ever make, and Angel also agrees, right, Angel? You guys have got to go get one. Today's the last day. That's the final reminder. So go get one today at listenallshop.com. Anyways, today, guys, we are going to be talking about something pretty cursed. Yes, Cookie Monster. If you guys don't know who Cookie Monster is, well, have I got a lot of tea to spill. I actually talked about Elmo in a previous video, and you guys seem to really enjoy that a lot. Enough for me to do a video today about Elmo's little friend, Cookie Monster. And guys, also before today's video starts, be sure to drop a like on today's video, or else Cursed Cookie Monster will come to your house and take all of your cookies. This is not a drill, he will actually do that. <laughs> so guys, I was kind of scrolling the internet the other day, and I noticed that there's a lot of crazy things about Cookie Monster that I didn't not know and there was one story that I came across in particular that we're going to cover later on in this video after I cover the history of Cookie Monster that actually scares me and a lot of children and it's about Cookie Monster dolls that ended up having an effect on children to give them nightmares but before we get into that tea I have some tea about the history of Cookie Monster. So Cookie Monster is one of the main characters of Sesame Street. He is covered with blue fur and possessing a pair of googly eyes. Cookie Monster has a very very strange appetite. As his name implies, his primary craving is cookies. But he can, and often does, consume anything and everything he gets his hands onto. Which is not good, okay? He literally will eat anything and everything, and literally claims that, and he shows that in the show. Trust me, he will eat anything he finds. When Cookie Monster eats something, he makes a very distinct, loud munching noise. Often interpreted as, oh um, nom 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 nom. The time has come for this. Cookie! It literally sounds like some kind of dog. Kind of like my dog going. She makes this really strange noise sometimes. I don't know why my dog does that. But yeah, kind of like that. Cookie Monster and my dog have a lot in common. They both eat everything. <laughs> in 1966, Henson drew three monsters who appeared in the General Foods commercial that featured three crunchy snack foods wheels, crowns, and flutes. Each snack was represented by a different monster. As it turns out, that commercial was never aired. But all three monsters had a future in the Muppet cast. And those end up linking into the inspiration for what eventually turned into Cookie Monster. But before Cookie Monster became official, he went through a ton of different looks, styles, colors, and designs until he f iconic blue fur, googly eyes, and normal mouth. However, I'm going to put some of the things on the screen here of what he looked like before he took his final form as Cookie Monster that we know today and that we love today. And at one point, it was quite terrifying because Cookie Monster actually had sharp, jagged teeth. Like, literally razor blade teeth, and it was terrifying to the kids, so they had to cut that one. And now he just looks like this, just like your typical Cookie Monster. Also, another really strange fact I found online about Cookie Monster was when they were shooting the Sesame Street shows, they actually had all these characters as puppets puppets, of course. And one of the really terrifying things that one of the cast members said was that when they were shooting these shows, sometimes the puppet's mouth would just move completely silent the entire time they were filming, so no words would come out at all. Behind the scenes, it was really scary when they didn't speak. However, one of the cast members suggested having him talk very little. So they only gave him lines like milk and cookie. And of course, we all know today that Cookie Monster still speaks very few lines and very little lines when he actually does have his moment on TV. It's usually just very subtle things or like um num num sound effects. Cookie! Um num num. So they have him barely say anything in the show compared to the other Sesame Street characters. Another terrifying fact about Cookie Monster, and I actually never thought about this and never knew this, and when I found it, it blew my mind, is the fact that when Cookie Monster was eating a cookie on TV or on Sesame Street shows, he actually was eating fake cookies. Yes, hear me out. So the cookies that we see on the screen right now that Cookie Monster is eating were not even real cookies. Cookie Monster has devoured hundreds of cookies in his time on Sesame Street. All of them could not be real cookies because all the oils from the actual food would be damaging to the puppet. At the time of writing Sesame Street, prop makers were using painted rice crackers for cookies. With the advent of high definition, however, this was no longer convincing to the children. So they eventually developed a recipe for breakaway cookies that have been since used 
And this recipe includes pancake mix, puffed rice, grape nuts, and instant coffee for the color, and hot glue for the chocolate chips that they put on these fake cookies, which are now prop cookies for the show and whenever they have Cookie Monster eat a cookie. However, this is not where it gets strange, okay? There is something a little bit spicier about this puppet that really keeps me up at night. So the strange thing about Cookie Monster's puppet is at the back of his mouth, there is a gigantic hole built into the back so the puppeteer can create the illusion that the character is eating any number of items that go into the back of Cookie Monster's mouth. Yeah, so if you wanted to try to fit inside a Cookie Monster's mouth yourself, I'm pretty sure he could even swallow an entire human with that big hole in the back of his mouth. That does not sound right. But literally, like, a child could be consumed by Cookie Monster Puppet's mouth. Like, this puppet is probably really big in person, too, so, like, who knows what all can fit inside of there? I really don't want to know. It doesn't sound right. But I'm just saying, Cookie Monster, just, yeah, we're not going to go into details. <laughs> he eats everything and anything. And speaking of the fact that he eats anything and everything, there was one episode of Sesame Street that was a collaboration with Kermit the Frog that was so scary and so concerning to the young children that watched it that this became a lost episode that they had to take off of TV and stop airing because children were crying over this episode. It literally scared them so much, even though I actually took a look at it myself and it wasn't that bad. But I could see where it could make a small child kind of scared. So basically in this episode, Kermit and Cookie Monster, the two best friends, were hanging out and just talking and chatting and Cookie Monster started to act like a bizarre wild animal. He literally started to act like a dog trying to attack Kermit and Kermit even says during this clip, some people will eat anything. And then Cookie Monster just keeps on going after Kermit the Frog, attempting to grab his arms, his leg, and eventually try to swallow Kermit whole. And of course, that scared a lot of children. Although he didn't successfully succeed at swallowing Kermit entirely, he definitely wanted to. He found him to be a whole snack. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so another fact before I get to the tea about this cursed cookie doll toy that I found on an article is that basically parents kind of found Cookie Monster to be a bad example for their kids. So hear me out, all right? Cookie Monster, all he does is eat cookies, sugary food, and pretty much anything he finds, okay? And kids that look up to Cookie Monster might be like, well, I want to be like Cookie Monster. Or Cookie Monster eats cookies all day, so I want to eat cookies all day. Don't blame them, I would too if I could. However, some parents were kind of dramatic about it, thinking that Cookie Monster was a bad influence or teaching their children to eat unhealthy, not dietary, sugary foods like chocolate chip cookies and eat anything they can get their hands on because they all of a sudden believe that they have the magic powers of Cookie Monster when they really don't. So I thought that kind of controversial topic was strange. And last but not least, there was a set of Cookie Doll toys that was released back in the days and these toys had a very strange history according to an article I found online. Well, let me read what this article said to you guys about these toys because I find this very interesting if it's actually true. In 1980, there was many reports of children having nightmares brought on by sleeping with a specific Cookie Monster doll. What really got people worried was not that there was children having nightmares, but that all the nightmares were exactly the same as one another. The children would wake up in their beds in the middle of the night and in the darkness, they would see a man staring straight towards them, looking at them while they sleep in their bed overnight. He appeared to be a shadowy dark figure who would make weird low giggles when they looked at him, which that is kind of creepy. <laughs> Over the years, apparently this happened less and less to the children who had the Cookie Monster dolls. However, the children who owned Elmo dolls are now said to be experiencing the same nightmares that the children who own the Cookie Monster dolls were as well. That is some serious tea, okay? I do not know if that's a true story, but if it is, that is terrifying and the tea is hot as always. <laughs> Anyways guys, those are some crazy stories about Cookie Monster. Let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about Sesame Street? Did you guys watch Sesame Street as a kid? I kind of did and didn't. I mean I did sometimes but I wasn't like super into it. I know I had like a very small emo phase which I kind of wonder why because almost kind of scary. I should have liked Cookie Monster more because he liked cookies but he's kind of scary too. Anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching today's video. Video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button. Also guys, it would mean a lot if you guys would hit that bell notification because lately for some reason YouTube has not been sending out my notifications to all of you lovely people and I don't want you guys to miss out on my future videos so make sure you have that subscribe button clicked and that bell notification turned on so you guys don't miss out on my videos and it's free so why not? 
Also guys, be sure to get your hands on one of the angel plushies. They are only for sale until the 26th, which is today. So this is the last day you guys can get your hands on a plushie, and you guys do not want to miss out on it. I love you guys. Thank you all so much for watching the channel, and I hope you guys have a lovely day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.